The objective is to use divide by 10 patterns for multi-digit whole number division. 420 divided by 10. Let's use place value disk to help solve this problem. First we'll model 420. 100, 200, 300, 400, 410, 420. When we divide by 10, when we take 100 and divide by 10, we get 10. So there's 1 10, 2 10s, 3 10s, 4 10s. When we take a 10 and divide it by 10, we get 1. So there's 1 1, 2 1s. So that our answer is 42. 420 divided by 10 equals 42. Since 100 divided by 10 is 10, 400 divided by 10 is, four, is 40. Since 110 divided by 10 is 1, 2 tens divided by 10 is 2. And that's how we got our answer, 42. Let's solve this problem using a place value chart, 360 divided by 10. Hundreds, tens, ones. First we'll model 360 in our chart. So when we model 360 in our chart, we have three hundreds, six tens, and zero ones. We're going to have to actually make one more place here. And we can shift our digits. Because 100 divided by 10 is 10. Divide by 10. And the same thing for 10, those 10s. Those 6 10s divided by 10 is 6 1s. So when we shift our digit, we get 36. Our digits get shifted one place to the right. Here we have 1,400 divided by 100. Let's solve this problem by our knowledge of place value. Say 1,400 in unit form. Did you say 14 hundredths? We're dividing 14 hundredths divided by 100. How many hundreds are in 1,400? Right, 14 hundredths. So we have 14 hundredths divided by 100. 100 divided by 100 is 1, so 14 hundreds divided by 100 is 14. There are 14 hundreds within 1,400. Here we have 24,000 divided by 600. This problem is a little different than the others we've solved. Our divisor this time is... 600. So we can start by decomposing 600. Decomposing 600 as a factor, we know that 100 times 6 equals 600. Do we know the answer for 24,000 divided by 100 already? 24,000 divided by 100 is what? That's equal to 240. Are we finished? No, we would still have to divide by 6. So we take 240 and divide it by 6 to get 40. So our answer for 24,000 divided by 600 is 40. So you notice we divided by 100 first and then divided by 6 because we knew how to decompose 600. Here we have one more problem. 
We have 180,000 divided by 9,000. How can we break apart 9,000? We can decompose 9,000 into what? 1,000 times 9. So in this case, we divide 180,000 by 1,000 first. Where we get 180. And then are we done? No, we still have to divide by 9. So we take 180 and divide it by 9. 9 goes into 180 20 times. We could write that out like this if you really needed to. 9 goes into 18 2 times. 2 times 9 is 18. 18 minus 18 is 0. Bring down the 0. 0 divided by 9 is 0. I'll finish my work, my long division there. So the key and the step is to make sure that you can decompose the larger divisor so that you know how to divide in two steps to be able to get that answer. Here we have 1,700 divided by 100. So it's your turn. Pause the video while you do your work. There's 17 hundreds there. This is one way to solve it. Divided by 100. And so the answer is 17. Your turn again. 28,000 divided by 700. Pause the video while you do your work. 700 is broken down into 7 and 100. So we have 28,000 divided by 100 first to get 280. And then we take 280, we divide it by 7, we get our answer of 40. So 28,000 divided by 700 equals 40. Check over your work. So that's how we can go ahead and divide by these numbers here.